Okay, so this next video is going to be a little harder to hear. Um, I'm going to be exposing some people. I'm not naming specific names. I'm just talking about situations going on in my life and the dynamic that I'm dealing with. And seeing as the dynamic I'm dealing with started within my family that I got adopted into, I wanted to explore and talk about things I've learned. Um, so, um, due to my situation, my family has been claiming a lot of stuff that's not true. Um, they are responsible for a lot of shit that's been going down, and they're responsible for a lot of things that went down in the past. So I needed to cover something because it infuriates the living hell out of me whenever I um, see anything on it, like on Facebook, um, if I get anything that pops up, but anything at all, like, it just infuriates the living hell out of me. Um, I have an aunt and an uncle that have two ID daughters. Um, one might be borderline ID, but just like barely, barely. Um, one of the things I've learned since going through this and how they're doing things and how they're approaching things and um, how they've been showing off their grandiose on how intelligent they think they are and how smart they're being about their stuff and um, how manipulative they really are being is that they are very comfortable manipulating, which is abuse, the ID girls. So part of my situation has to do with one of the ID girls from my childhood and on top of that um, seeing how exploitive they are about the whole situation, how happy they are to take a spotlight look at it without technically trying to look grandiose but they are being grandiose because if you're one of my flying monkeys that I think that keeps looking at my YouTube videos um, or per se somebody that enlisted you so that they could pretend to not pay attention to my videos but still get info um, or pay attention to my Facebook so you can get info um, if you're one of those people I got bad news for you um, you are supporting a very abusive environment. Um, I also wanted to cover something else that I found out because I did a little research on some stuff and I found out, so hilariously enough, one of the guys that I was in like this on and off again, like fucked off relationship that I like, when we got together, I thought that maybe there's a shot in hell that we might like make it, get married, possibly a future or something there. Anyways, it got shot to hell. Everything went to hell. I fucked up, he fucked up, but then I found out he really fucked up. Um, he got married back at the end of 2015, and I found out that he enlisted his mother, his sister, his friends, his now wife. I'm 100% positive she enlisted her friends. Um, and his storyline, his backstory was that his father was an alcoholic, abusive. This is the story he told me. At some point he was talking to me about it. He almost seemed to hint that he almost got like physically abused. Uh, he told a story about talking about wanting to almost kill him, that he almost stabbed him while he was sleeping. Um, I have no idea if he told the truth about the story or not. I have no idea if he was lying or not. Um, Anyway, so I found out that his entire family is enlisted in a part of this. And so hearing about him coming from an abusive background like that and doing something on this level and being so abusive on this level, even he's not even like actively, like I don't see him. I didn't even think about him that much. Like I like was moving on, trying to after he got married, didn't want to think about him, didn't want to consider anything about him didn't go after him, didn't run after him, didn't chase him, try to ruin his running or anything like that. I was defeated. He didn't want me. He made his point. I was horrible. I was evil. I was a monster. That's what it was. And he was going to marry who was going to marry and that wasn't going to be me. And that was okay. 
he did me a favor. It's okay. He did me a huge favor. Because you don't know why? After hearing about the story about him talking about his dad being an abusive person and him being so anti-abuse and all this stuff, it turns out he's an abusive little piece of shit. And his wife is an abusive little piece of shit. His sister's now an abusive piece of shit. And his mother's an abusive piece of shit. They're enablers. They're horrible people. And they have their flying monkeys. And if he gets this video, watches it himself, for whatever god fucking reason, because I told you, I'm pretty damn sure he has narcissistic personality disorder. And like every fucking motherfucker that has it, when it comes to good supply, whether you're getting good, good from it, or bad from it, when you have narcissistic, or narcissistic personality disorder, you will come back for the supply every fucking time. Every fucking time. He doesn't even have to like face me face on. He will get his supply. He'll get his supply so he can call himself a victim. He'll get his supply so he can say I'm a crazy bitch. He will get his supply on any way and any level and his wife will back him up on it. Um, his friends that enable it, his mother, his sister, they all will. And guess what? One of the big things I've been noticing about this shit is that they're dealing, what I'm dealing with is a really complicated situation and um, there's a lot of lies that are going around about it. Like, this is normal, this shit happens, this shit does not happen. This is not normal, this is not stuff that happens to everybody every day. I wouldn't be able to give you all the details on how I figured out on any idea or any format on how this shit works, but, you know, keeping it to the point, DNA matters. So... He, one time, did something really stupid, and, you know, he had told me earlier on in the relationship, just don't ever say I'm stupid like my father or some stupid shit like that. Should have been a clue. Uh, but he did something stupid, and so out of anger, because I knew it would upset him, I called it, I said to him, you're stupid like your father. Hey, guess what, motherfucker? You are stupid like your father. We good? We good? We on the same page? I'm making my point. You're raising children in an environment where you get to conduct abuse and pretend to give them a loving home. You're being a two-faced piece of shit and you haven't learned your lesson. So fuck you.